Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and this is going to be an update video on a video I made last week talking about Face Drive being a swing play opportunity. If you guys don't know what video I'm talking about right here, I say Face Drive stock is oversold, and this is a swing play opportunity. And so when we click on this video, this video was created on September 3rd, so this was made last Friday. We closed at $2.37, and I made this video because the RSI on this stock, if you could just see right here on the screen, was extremely low. We were in an oversold territory for about two and a half weeks for the stock, and so I knew something was up here, and this is going to be a great play to be getting into. And so with these type of plays, they can be very dangerous because if you don't get them at the bottom, you do end up catching the falling knife and you see the price action go lower and lower every single day. So if I bring us back to face drive stock right now, we're up 90%. This was followed by a day we were up 120% yesterday. So in the last two days, we're up 200%. And so this is not even from options. This is just strictly share appreciation up 200% absolutely massive squeeze on our hands if you look at our accumulation everything that we lost during this sell-off we gained back in the last two days so this is exactly what we want to see this is a major squeeze right now looking at our macd our macd had its crossover and so from two dollars and 37 cents i don't know what the math is on what the price action is right now but in a week to see a stock go up 200 two days is absolutely no joke and so there was tons of trolls on that video commenting that face drive took a face dive it just continued to go down down and down and down and it did from two dollars and 37 cents the stock went down to about 95 cents and so if you guys bought on my recommendation yes you would have been down but that is what you risk when you buy these type of plays the upside is great if you get in at a very great time but at the same time it could be minimized if you don't get in at the right time so if you bought at 237 and you held on then you can look at the price action right now you are going to double your money at some point on this play very quickly and so these are the type of plays that i like bringing to your guys attention i am not a machine i can't call every stock at the bottom and so with a play like face drive you always need to understand that it can always go lower so even though you're RSI is low. We have seen this stock was proof that you could stay in an oversold state for a very long time. And so when a play is this juicy and it's had an RSI down for so long, this type of squeeze is inevitable. You can see the price has just been going up since I've been recording this video. We're at 96%, 97% now. Look at the last two days. The candles have been absolutely gorgeous. If we look at our SMAs, we are still well away from our 50 SMA. So right now we're above our 20, which is a great sign. I do expect us to get a back test of this line at one point. And so if you got in on this play when I made the recommendation, ideally what you're looking for now is a test of this 50 SMA. And so at this level, I expect us to get rejected, but I do think the price action will get back to this point. And so that could be a selling opportunity. But one thing that I've learned is with these type of plays you want to take profits where you can if you've seen a stock go up 200 in two days that is definitely a sign to take some profits we're up 99 right now and so if i look at this in real time we're actually a lot higher up than four dollars there we go at four dollars and five cents and so we're making very great progress but don't be shy to take profits on a play like this i know that these type of plays are very hard to hold because you could have bought this at 237 but then they've gone down two days in a row and you're like, maybe this is not going to go up. And so you decide to sell at a dollar and then this happens. And so these are the type of plays that really test your brain power. But if you know why you're getting in, it should be easy to make your decision. And so I just wanted to make a follow up video on face drive because this was a play that continued to go down even after my video. But here was the day that we were waiting for. We saw two days of 100 percent up. You don't really see that in a stock that has a price above four but once you see a stock go from $60 to 87 cents you do expect to see some sort of bounce and so that is exactly what we saw this was our dead cat bounce and this was the reason why we got into this play it's very quick money it is very solid and so if face drive had options this play would have been insane if we saw 200% just off of share appreciation 
these options would have been well north of a thousand percent if you did get these on the lows and so you could just see the price actually continue to climb look for people to take profits but the one thing i like is that our accumulation has not recovered fully from this entire sell-off so that's actually a very great sign for this stock and so if you're in this stock that was actually a very great day the last couple days have been very nice and so i hope y'all understood why i said get into this play i still even have this sign right here this is my sell signal on this stock this is this level of support which is slightly below this 50 sma that does coincide with seven dollars and twenty cents and so even from this point there is still some upside with this stock in the short term and so i hope you guys enjoyed this video on face drive this was just simply an up update video because I had made one earlier talking about this being a swing play. If you guys want to get similar real life picks like face drive, come to my Patreon. That is where I give my first picks to all my patrons. And so if you guys want to get there, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, I hope y'all have a great day. This is Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy and I'll see you guys in the next one.